Thursday, <laughs> seven o'clock on a Thursday. Welcome to the Alpha Nerd Podcast. I am your main host, Kyle, with my co-hosts Dan and Greg for our cinema hour. How you doing? Hello. Um, we're going to talk about cinema, movies, all that fun stuff like we normally do. Um, let's start it off with um, we watched the finale of Moon Knight. Oh, Dan, did you watch it? <sighs> no. <laughs> See. <laughs> he's given up on life <laughs> it, well it doesn't help like I said Dan's biggest thing is he's read all the comics and stuff so it's like rewatching. watching it, it might be better if you gave me your opinion <laughs> because my opinion is I've watched too much and read too much and nothing new in the universe well you know you might as well quit reading because nothing ever matches the books yeah. I mean, seriously. I mean, no. Sometimes uh, I mean, do. you read, or they kind of lack. You read the movie. Books. I mean, the movie it doesn't yeah, match they, the books. They go over points in the books. Yeah, well, one yeah of the right. This is why they use Moon Knight is because there's not as many. It's not as popular. As yeah, that's true. It's a much easier story to digest. Um, you know, going through the storyline. You know, end of episode before you know the evil god gets released. Duh, duh, <laughs> duh. Um, didn't see that one coming. No one saw that one coming. And Ethan Hawke's in it, and he's yeah, Ethan, he's, and he's a big deal actor, so they can't just uh, let, kill him off. The poor something. man's bet. Uh, Kevin Bacon's in it. Yeah, yeah. that's Ethan Hawke. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you think Kevin Bacon's better than Ethan Hawke? Yes. Yeah, personally, foot loose. Yeah. That's all you need. I'm kick off. Your I, Sunday think shoes. I think they're about the same. No, nope. you got to kick off your Sunday shoes, Dan. I dislike that movie. Let loose. <laughs> Foot loose. <laughs> so, yeah, with that dance in the warehouse thing. Yeah. So, I mean, he, they both have good movies. They both, they're, they're, they both have good movies. We already know the pinnacle of Kevin Bacon's well, career. Since we're doing nerdy stuff, what's the, what's who do you the think one? would win in Hollow a fight? Man? Uh, <laughs> I don't, know, I don't Man. know. Hollow Man. That's that's obviously the pinnacle of his career, right? <laughs> that was like one of his biggest. Uh, what was the movie? I can't remember the name of the movie um, where they, they, he's. He has the house and he can he sees there's a dead girl. Oh, it's the new one, the uh horror movie. Um and there's a dead girl and he can kinda like see what's going on. She's uh, buried in his basement and he can kinda see her views through her eyes and stuff. He sees oh, I don't know that her. one. Is that a newer one or an older one? It's an older one. Okay. No idea. We'll look that up. So um Okay, enough about Kevin Bacon. <laughs> yeah. Well well let's find that movie because now I'm kinda interested in that one. Um so the evil god gets released. Mark Spector comes back to life. Stir of Echoes. Stir of Echoes? Okay. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. I don't remember that one at all. Vaguely. But, you know, standard through line. The The ending was actually not what I was expecting it to be. For Moon no? Moon. I Why? figured they were going to do the standard, everything set up at a happy ending. But he's still, you know, they kind of did, but it did in a different way. Well, I mean, uh, spoiler. I mean, it's the part of the whole. Is this? You, it's a part you of the. Never specify this is spoiler free or not. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, a, it's part of the whole th- of the of the whole mental thing, though, right? Like, you don't know whether he is or isn't in the crazy, mental. Yeah. And they, the mental... they stuck with that, which I was actually really impressed because <clears throat> usually Marvel wants to just tie everything up in a nice, pretty bow and be done with it. Unless they're leading into another. Well, no, there's, there's going to be another season. Absolutely, but yeah. I just don't think it's going to be as good. Because the thing with me is that they're getting away from the whole um, the, the hero is their own um, the person who makes the decisions. Moon Knight doesn't make his own decisions. Not really. Well, I mean, he's really not in the, mo- in the show either. Well, no, I mean like in the show, I mean. And like in every other thing, you know, Doctor Strange maybe not so much uh, Scarlet Witch because she's kind of nuts. But yeah, she's very nuts. Everyone else has their own plan and they'll go through it and they have their own. Yeah, I kind of like the randomness it. though. Well, I'm not saying yeah, it's, not it's bad, a, good it's or a bad. Change, just, but what he's saying is, right. I'm just pointing out the difference. Not yeah, necessarily. Usually, bad. Marvel characters they have that one. Well, thing yeah, I, like, I get what he's saying. I'm just saying I like the randomness though. Yeah, I, I like the randomness. Kind of do whatever. Yeah, he's not. It's he's, also I, it's kind of it's why I like Deadpool because Deadpool does his own thing. He, he he goes off and does, he has no like so Deadpool has no real objective unless it has to really actually do with him. Oh, you took it a different way than I was saying. Right. So, <laughs> but that's that's good. Um, and because so, oh, go ahead. speaking of Marvel, 
Um, I figured Moon Knight was going to be quick because it was kind of a Flash in the Plan episode. It wasn't a so plan, Flash in the Plan. Flash, flash, flash in the Plan. What's yes. a, what's oh, the, you still said it again. Flash, flash in the Plan. In the pan. The, flash in the Plan? Yeah, it's yeah. Flash in the Plan. Flash in the Plan. Is that a new phrase? You yeah, know? you know. <laughs> so I figured we were going to get that one. Well, six good. episodes is what it was. Yeah, but I figured we were going to get through that pretty quick just because the last two episodes weren't something to you know well no it's it's that weird spot they were they were those weird spots where they needed to set something up before the end the flash in the plane i think this is going great Kyle. yeah the flash in the plane you don't even know flash in the plane so (laughs) dr strange uh the new mad dr strange movie comes out today or yesterday (laughs) no thank you what come on multiverse more multiverse stuff yes i know they look if they don't have the weird giant a, like a uh, plane of existence where Kang has like different eras in the same thing. Oh, oh yeah, they're doing that. Yeah, but it's not going to be as cool. He's not going to have the Pharaoh outfit and the pyramid and stuff. Well, we don't know yet. He should. Yes, he should. It's um, an old look at you judging. It. You don't even know yet. <laughs> look at Marvel. It's going to be. It's going to come out good in the end. Look at yeah, it. No one important is going to die. Yeah, as I Captain say, America might or, get another body, but or, who knows? Or, 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 or the certain characters are going to die to give you an emotional impact. Like and then they come back to life because it's comedy. Right. Yes, that's that's the three lines of comics. No one ever truly dies because they need to sell. Because well, Loki yeah, right. dies so, right? in the in the primary universe, and he comes back as another alternate version, version of himself, and then he meets five other versions of himself, and they all hang out and do stuff. The only good one is the alligator one. Yes, I have no clue what that. I know what I, you guys are talking about. Yes, I know. I loved it because he had the blank stare. Oh, in the Loki show, he goes and alternate like the other time, and there's like different versions of Loki. And one of yeah, but the Loki thing is supposed to be pre. No, no, he. No, it's, after. it's it's a Loki from before he got he uh, lost to the Avengers. Right, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. but and the, then he the went way. to and because he broke time by winning, he's not supposed to win. Oh, okay. So, right. so he goes to this agency and then that guy. controls time. And so he's not the Loki. That so he's the, not the one that actually dies. Yeah. And, yeah. Okay, I got you. So I mean, they're really setting up a bunch of multiverse stuff right now for certain characters. Um. The only reason why I really want to see it now is because they introducing the Illuminati. But not really the Illuminati. We have Patrick Stewart as Professor X, and that's good enough. That's all you Mordo, need. Mordo, Mordo, really? No, he's a henchman for them. Uh-huh. He's not in the Illuminati. Yeah, okay. Uh, quick rundown, Greg. Uh, the Illuminati. You know how it's a... I know what the Illuminati is. Yes, but for Marvel, yeah. um, what they did with the Illuminati was like the like five to ten best people. It was like Reed Richards... Professor X, Black Panther. Okay, you, you got you got X, Wolverine. You got Professor X. No, the smart Doctor people. Strange. Oh, smart people. Doctor Strange. Reed Richards. Reed Richards. Uh, Tony Stark. Tony Stark and Black, Black Panther. Panther. Uh, a- they tried to get Captain America in it and Black Bolt and Black Bolt, the guy in the movie. Yeah, yeah, Black Bolt. They 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 form their own like little secret club to help run things behind the scenes and then it and then they threw um hulk into space you know the you know the thor movie when he fights yep hulk yep in that original storyline he got thrown off the earth because he would, might go out of control and kill a bunch of people so they tried to throw him away to a, like abandoned planet but it went off and oh that's where um planet hulk is what it's yeah. called but well, that's where the one hulk comes from right and then he the comes world wreck world breaker world breaker and world then breaker. he comes back super pissed all right, you amazing. Then, I know that. You got to get some credit for that yeah. now. Come on. Yes, yeah, very good. That was and a then, lot more and then, and then the Illuminati's <laughs> outed because like, he had Bruce Banner's mind in the Hulk thing, and he was right, telling yeah, everybody right, about right. it. Yeah, Basically. so, yeah. The, um, and the reason why he came back to Earth all mad is because he went through all the world, uh, the world War Hulk, where he went to a gladiator world and fought his way to ruling it and saving Right, it. that's where World Breaker comes And then from, yeah, right. all of a sudden his ship explodes and kills his <laughs> wife and his unborn child. And, and he, that's, yeah. Then he freaks out and <laughs> Comes, comes to, back to Earth. Because he thought that's what they were trying to do was secretly kill him. Right. But what you find out is one of the subordinates who did it, mm. trying to keep him angry because that's what they worshipped about oh, him. Oh, the, 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 the bug, bug guy. guy. The yeah. bug guy. And then he crushes his head and then he... I like how you gave me that blank stare. I needed some credit for that. I was really caught off guard with it, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually the other way around. So he was surprised that he had yeah, something you, on you. It's, yeah. yeah. Ooh, it's you got me. You had something on me for comic books. <laughs> I was like, whoa, he knows things. <laughs> so I'm actually looking forward to the Doctor Strange. Just because Patrick Stewart's reprising his role as Professor X. I want to see if they really got who they were teasing as Reed Richards. 
Who is it this time? Um, <laughs> oh, it's because uh, oh for a while it was. What's I think it was the dude on the office. Yeah, that's been on, going on for three years. Now. Yes, but this would be the movie where they actually finally show him. I hope not. So, I got to think of his name. I forget his name too. John Krasinski, Krasinski or something like that. Yeah, John Krasinski. Kras- so, Kras- Krasinski, maybe? Krasinski. Yes, Krasinski. You're right. So he's supposedly going to be Reed Richards. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I got guys to look at me. I have no interest in this. I know you don't. <laughs> I'm just looking at you because you're <laughs> sitting here at the table and it's just polite. <laughs> you're right. You know, I see. We got to start. Get, we got to. We got to. We got to get your toe in there. We got we got it in anime. Now we got you in comic book stuff. Oh man! Besides, I mean, I got you that. to read the Killing Joke. Oh, the Joker one, yeah, yeah, the Killing Joke. The Killing Joke's super short though, so that's good. yeah, it's for very it is, short. But I figured that'd be a good start. Although the 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 animated one is way worse mm-hmm. and way funnier in a Have horrible, seen that one? horrible way. Have I had you watch that or watched it with you? The Killing Joke movie that I know, movie. no, yeah, it's no. on Netflix. So I, you can watch know. it. Um, Basically, the it's the same as the book, but the book was so short that they added a subtext where Batman was um, in an in a, having a sexual relationship with Batgirl for no reason. Yeah, for they no reason. Yeah, they literally. Yeah, has, like um, it never happens in the comics. Oh yeah, right, right. Because he's in, like in the, in twice the, her age. And well, because I got yeah, because I got a <laughs> he's like twice his age. They got him, and it. it's his best friend's daughter. You see, they're starting to. I'm starting to see a lot of stuff about Michael Keaton. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's actually a movie. It's actually it? going to be oh, a movie. It's a movie. It's not a series. Be a movie, not oh, a series. nice! I was so excited, but yeah, um, yeah. That's why. I, that's who's, what, who's going to play his protege? I don't know who they're getting to play as Terry McGinnis yet. I don't know. It could be anybody with, with dark hair. Yeah, right. Any white guy with dark hair. Well, I, I, I imagine <laughs> they're going to get a big name. Maybe as long as it's so. not Timothy Chalamet. I, I, I don't care. <laughs> or. Uh, some <laughs> Shalomat, 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 Shalomat. Shalomat. That's how you pronounce it. That's how you pronounced it. Remember Shalomat? Remember like Shalomat? What do you say? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, when I said it, when we were talking about it, and I was like Shalomat. The, the same day he did Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> yeah, Jiu Jitsu. I like Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to that. Um, I haven't seen nothing else too exciting other than the Michael Keaton thing. Yeah, the only part sense. about the Multiverse of Madness, I, I, I don't – Miss America could go away. I don't really need her punching yeah. through – Miss, Miss America? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know the character. Talk so, to that guy. He's the- I've never read a comic by her, but apparently all she she's like super, like super fast, super powerful, and she can punch um, through reality. So it's like a Marvel, Captain Marvel kind of thing? No. No. no, she's like one of those characters that just is has super powerful f- for no reason. Oh, it's like Captain Marvel. Or <laughs> no, Captain Marvel's powerful for a reason. It's just in the cinematic universe they just really upped her power because in the comic books she can get that powerful, but it usually requires extra things. Well, not also, just she can do it. Well, also right. the storyline for her was Captain Marvel was a, was an actual Kree. Like yeah. the blue skin people, yeah, yeah, yeah. His name was, and then Marvel. he crash lands on Earth and gives her the power, and then she loses it to an X Man, and then she gets something else back from the same people. It's weird, and yes. convoluted. That's why they didn't go with that. But yeah, it was um, it's a weird time. So Miss America is just she can punch holes through space and time for reasons I can't explain, and there's no explanation really. <laughs> okay, um, so they're doing that. Uh, they show Shima Gorath is in it. Which one's that? The alien with the it's it's almost like Starro, a really metal version of Starro. Like, oh, he's I forgot. This is Marvel. Their space stuff is terrible. Yes, <laughs> DC space stuff's way better. Mm-hmm. I don't know Absolutely. why. Because most of the Marvel stuff is set on Earth, and there's space stuff trying to invade Earth, but they never do space stuff. <laughs> Unless you're X-Men for some reason. Yeah, and then they, they it's usually just the one Empire, and the one dude, and Well, the there's Kree, and the Shi'ar. And the that's Shi'ar, it. that's it, Shi'ar. That's it. It's usually they're just the Shi'ar. Shi'ar. And, uh, they want to mess with them for a little bit. Superman, who loses power when he has anxiety issues. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, uh, Guardian, or... Gladiator? Yeah, Gladiator. 
I love with him. the mohawk. Yes, and then he beat up the juggernaut one time for no reason. Did you hear it? I saw a headline somewhere. They're trying to bring back the X Men from the nineties in a con, in like a uh, animated form for some reason. Oh yeah, they're they're rehashing the X Men animated, and almost everybody's and opinion is going to be terrible. Yeah, everyone's against it because they don't want them to take something that was really good, really successful. And then try to shoehorn it, and then they want to add new storylines and make it more politically correct. Like the, the the people opened their mouths, and it was not the right thing to do. You don't take an all time classic and try to change it. Well, not even try it. You try to change it while it's still trying to be the exact same thing. It's like trying to Photoshop things into a right Mona Lisa. Well, they had, they, had, they had, it was pretty diverse for back then, anyway. Yeah. Oh, it was there really was diverse. Bishop and Jubilee's kind of terrible, but she's there. Well, she, she's kind of terrible as a character until she becomes a vampire, and then she sucks worse. <laughs> and she sucks worse. She does. She they give her all this power, and then she still doesn't do anything with it. Right. Did they have any Native American characters in that one? Yeah. Um. Was it War? Was it a, Warhawk? Yeah, Warhawk or War something. The big guy with the. With that headband who can like, yeah. punch people in the orbit or everything. <laughs> it's like Warhawk, I think. Warpath. 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 No, he was more like an okay. he was more like a uh Greg's going to ditch us for a minute because he has to use the bathroom. Oh well all right, tell everybody that. Oh whatever it happens. I, I took I, I made the announcement when I went to the bathroom. You like, should use okay. the word potty. <laughs> potty. <laughs> you I are got, a father now. He's got a tinkies. So yeah, so Yes, they were talking about redoing the 90s X-Men thing with slightly updated thing, and everyone was like, no. There's only a couple characters they could add to it, and most of them aren't even mm. worth... There's no new mutants anyway. Yeah, no. Because they killed them all off a while back, like 10, 12 years ago. The House mm. of M thing. Yes, <laughs> most of them at least. And then they had the whole island thing, which I didn't pay mm. attention to. And the only part of that that I liked that you told me about was when um, Colossus became the Juggernaut for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. When uh, he became the Juggernaut in order to stop somebody. he I can't remember. I got to think about it. He, he It was something to do with magic. Magic was up to something that she wasn't supposed to be. So Juggernaut accepted the so Gemma Sidorak. Became <laughs> the new juggernaut while he was in his metal form, and he was. And the problem was because he was naturally his gentle self, mm -hmm. he would start to mutate mm -hmm. further by and being corrupted by the gem because he the, the whole point of the juggernaut was to go be a force of destruction. Mm -hmm. And because Colossus was resisting this, he started growing like spines out of his face and extra arms and stuff, and it was crazy. It sounds to me like they changed the personality of Magic just to make a controversial storyline. Yeah. Because well, she was never like that. No, she wasn't evil. She, like was, she, she was corrupted by the demon she lived with him since she was a kid. And then when she comes back, she has trouble being a good person. Again. Yes. And this is what it was. Like, she got herself involved with something and she was trying to fix it. Uh, and Colossus became the new juggernaut to save her. I got it. It was it was crazy. I just like the image. I don't know if I like the concept. I just... Oh. Oh, we gotta let Greg in. Hurry up, Kyle. We're in dead air here. Dead air. Talk about stuff. <laughs> comic books and stuff. And shows. Oh, I miss the comic book stuff. No. Yes. Oh, I know your favorite. Your favorite thing My that favorite you missed. It was just a side thing that didn't have anything. Yeah, did have, we were talking about like different points of the X Men that were good. Oh, got you. Um, <laughs> so we want to. Uh, what we because we haven't been on the same page about watching stuff because we're bad at this. I've watched Halo. Oh, how was that? It's pretty good. They, uh, they're trying a little too hard to make it like dramatic. Yeah. So they kind of went the relationship route too much, and I guess they didn't want to have too high of a budget for action scenes because they don't have nearly enough. Okay. Because um, Halo's an action game, so you yeah. think there'd be a little bit more just shooting all the time. Yeah, um, go so, far, guess, yeah, give us some more details on that one, because I was actually looking into it, and are you all the way through it, or is it... Well, it's not done yet. It has two more episodes left. Okay. That's so like nine what? Episodes. Nine episodes? Yeah. So, go on. 
What do you mean go on? Talk about it. Ask questions, Kyle. This is why like, you're a bad conversation. Yeah, I know, right? Story premise? Like, is it set? Is it well, more it's a prequel? It's before. It's probably a prequel because I'm not sure. Reach the the fall of Reach is a prequel thing, right? The yes, game. the fall of Reach was like how everything started with the Covenant. And all well, that stuff. they've been fighting the Covenant for a while. In this so point. it's not a prequel. It's, it's it's all the all the his whole uh, uh, Spartan squad still alive, so it must be a prequel from um, the original Halo, anyway. Yeah, well, if we're doing that, because I don't really know the sequence of the game. So it game, would be so. it would be before it would be before Halo One, but after Reach, if his squad's still alive. Yeah, because he has his squad, and there's no other Spartans that I know of. In the yeah, because um, Reach was like a squad of Spartans. Well, Reach is still around. Oh. So uh, maybe they're mixing the game. Yeah, maybe up. it's way before any of that. Then. Maybe they're mixing it up a little bit. So it might be the start of the Spartan program and all that stuff. And well, this is – he's 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 an adult and he's been doing this for a while. Yeah. He's a legend of – Master Chief. Whatever, right? But um, Reach is still functional. So that doesn't been destroyed or whatever happened to it. Yeah, because that, that was the end of Reach is – it was – finally going to blow up and, but, and but what i'm thinking is they changed the story around a little bit because one of because like in the beginning it's about this girl and her like uh, family were mining some sort of mineral on a, like a planet that's rebelling against the united nations yeah all right and then the spartans come in and everybody thinks that they're going to destroy him but they end up helping him against the whatever covenant. covenant covenant and then she's the only one who ends up surviving because everyone else gets killed yeah and then they go to him and he goes to try to try to find his artifact that them and the covenant are trying to find mm -hmm. related to the halo and then he's the only one who could touch it and get information from it okay and then you find out that there's another girl later on who got kidnapped by the covenant and she can do the same thing okay so it's all about him trying to because this unlocked memories from when he was a kid, yeah. from before he got, you know, his mind erased or whatever, or traumatized or whatever happened. Yeah. And so he ends up taking out his uh, motion inhibitor thing so he can have emotions again, because they don't have emotions. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Halo's convoluted. Yeah, it is pretty convoluted. <laughs> so it goes through this whole thing. About him rediscovering his memories and stuff. Yeah, because we, uh, me and Andrew were talking about and, and they Halo game. and they pro progressively find more artifacts and they're yeah. trying to get them together because they're trying to get a weapon and to then, defeat the enemy, and you know how it is with the Halo. Yeah, and then you find out the weapon's going to kill everybody, so then they they all have to work together last second to stop everyone from dying. Well, because there's a isn't there like a rebel group of the Covenant that didn't want to? Yeah, they're called the Banished, and that's a whole number. That me and Andrew were talking about that. Because there's the ones he, who uh, want to destroy everything, and there's yeah, ones that don't want to destroy everything. He played Infinite, and he knows all that storyline. Mm -hmm. We talked about it a little bit, and it's really overcomplicated. You know, I mean. <laughs> it was just better when Alien's bad, you're good. Which game? You, which game? Out. Which game did they start letting you play as the Covenant guy? Is well, that, that three, two, two, or two. two? Really? Wow. Yeah, that's the Arbiter. That's like right away. Then one of my favorite characters because he was actually a legitimate character. Like, mm -hmm. and then three happened, and then four happened, and then the rest. Yeah, yeah just go to Flash gets you. Know. <laughs> Xbox Smash. <laughs> what is that? Halo Two. Yeah. Uh, no, it's Halo Four, which everyone hated. Is that and the drunk like one? The, yeah, he's the one who's always drinking and beating. <laughs> Beating up the other Halos, and they hate him. Then he ends up getting shot, doesn't he? Uh, no, he accidentally sets off a grenade and blows up the building, and <laughs> his deformed baby brother Halo Five was. <laughs> <laughs> and Halo Five was my goal to be a deformed Halo. <laughs> oh, speaking of, I haven't seen nothing from Halo. Who was the Who was the best one? The one with the bow tie. Three. That was three. Three. Three had the bow tie. It was like the, the spoiled the child perfect, was the perfect older brother. <laughs> that was the spoiled one. That's my favorite one of theirs, except for well, the ice bucket challenge was good, and <laughs> and and the one with um, what's the what's the game where you can customize your character and they're kind of 
flamboyant in that the video. Oh, Destiny, the, the Destiny one. Oh, you didn't see that flash kids? I'm sure I did. I just... Yeah. Um. So. But anyway, this has nothing to do with it. It, anything. Basically, the Halo is. It's fairly close to the game, but the game didn't really have much storyline because it was mostly cutscenes. Uh, yeah, so they're trying to make storyline. They're trying it. to make an emotional connection between him and other people because you can't just have a guy who I think never kinda, takes his helmet off. Honestly, I think it's just kind of late for it. Yeah, the Halo train's already. Well, it's a pretty. It's a it's a solid science fiction story. I'm not saying it's great or even groundbreaking. It's just, yeah, but I know what I'm. You know just, what well, I mean? They should if they wouldn't. They wanted to do something with it. It should have came out years ago. Yeah. As far as popularity, I agree. Yeah, it's right. That's what they, I mean. they, they waited too long on that. Well, my criterion are more like: is it good? <clears throat> is it bad? It's pretty good. Good. It's not. I might watch that. It's less. Um, I don't know. Trying to be flashy than some of the other ones you expect it to be. But it's pretty cool how they do the superhuman stuff, though. How they do um, what? The superhuman stuff. When they do the action scenes, they can run as fast as those like uh, the yeah, vehicles um, and stuff. It's crazy. Uh, you, you remember the program. Match Chief is yep. part of a genetically altered super soldier program. Right. So they're like basically so, Captain America except with power armor. Pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. Pretty much good. Because literally what Master Chief does, Captain America does. If he had power armor. Yeah. Jumping out of a plane without parachute. Yeah, something. and just landing on the ground and not being bothered. Yeah. So, Greg, you've been quiet, so let's get you talking about... Is it wrong well, I've been quiet because I don't know any, know of, this. any of this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why. You're, you're the jock guy that we're trying to introduce into all this. <laughs> and um, we. Sorry, me. It's This is between you two, mostly, isn't it? <laughs> not today. You've been doing the majority of the talking. Well, you can tell me a... Be quiet if you'd like. Yeah, oh, no. Keep talking. He's asking you questions. Yeah. I'll take a nap so, over here. Don't worry about it. <laughs> here, I'm snoring Having in the trouble background. sleeping, Greg? <laughs> well, he works third shift, so. Oh, really? Um, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon, a.k.a. Dimachi? Probably is. Yeah, right? So you <laughs> got... It's an inappropriate place to pick up girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah right? Yeah. yeah, that's... that's And that's the only reason why I started unless watching the a, show. Unless there's a weird members area, like after a golf It's the only reason he started watching the show, and they got like two episodes in, and he's disappointed. What the heck well, is no, this? It just usually like it, I, I just heard the name. I was like, "What's I this got, garbage?" I got to see where this is going. It's nothing to do with picking up girls in a dungeon. dungeon. Yeah, this is stupid. <laughs> um, so Greg, let's talk about it. You're the one who fi- I I've already watched it. I'm on season four. Let's talk so. about it. Yeah, let's talk about. There it. There isn't season four. There's three seasons. The uh, season four. I'm on season four. Like it's coming out. Like I've read the yeah, manga. Yeah, but you're not on it. Yeah, it's not. I've out. read the manga, so I okay, know but it's coming. not out. It's close <laughs> yeah, enough. On season four. <laughs> if it's not out, it's not out, man. Yeah, right. Okay. Well, I read it. Uh, is it going to be the same as the manga? Yeah, they actually held pretty true. So it's like two. DBZ. They keep it the same as the they manga. keep it pretty close. Yeah, yeah. except for DBZ kind of goes off on. <laughs> I know that's why the I manga said, just. That's goes why off. I said they're going to keep How it like the uh, like characters. Like, the anime came out first, and then the manga changed it up where they... You know usually where they do it in the manga, and then the manga can't keep up with the anime, and then the anime right. does something different than the manga? Well, they do it in reverse, where the anime gets done, and then they do the manga like a year and a half later, and they're so like... Unlike, what's the one? The pirate one? One Piece. Was that a manga, or is it still a manga? Oh, it's still a manga. It's still going, going strong. Very true, Cheetah. Very true. What did she say? She says I don't read unless it's audiobooks, which is... <laughs> I was actually thinking the same thing. I was like, reading? Did you read the words? Or did you just follow the pictures? Yeah, I followed the pictures. Very true. Uh, anyways, I like the show, actually. Um, I like it. You know, this, the storyline is very easy to, to follow. It's um, it's It has a, a good progression throughout the storyline, throughout the season. Um, the only thing I don't like is when we had this chat about it is I don't like, and I get that he's like the innocent guy and he's like, uh, I don't even know what you, how you want to, what you want to call him, but like, he's like very sensitive. He cries all the time. Yeah. That's like his, literal like, tears? Uh, yes. Yeah, like he, like, he very... literally cries all the time <laughs> and he cries every episode about like every 10 minutes. Yeah. He, he, the, he cries about something. He's the soft anime. Um, 
Is there actually a Japanese word for this? There must be. And you should know. know it, Kyle, because you're the guy. <laughs> well, I know what it is in American, but I don't I can't I don't think I can say Sissy. it. Oh, yeah, but uh Sissy. <laughs> yeah. So uh, other than that, I mean that and he's a little bit of a, a sissy when it comes to the girls. Like it's really weird. Like he, he like falls for this one girl in the in the very first episode. Um but he has like five other girls is chasing him. Like like hardcore, not even keeping it a secret, like in his face chasing. Okay, so let's go. So what does he cry about? Like Just, he stubs his toe or something? Yeah, more or less. Like, oh, I failed at doing this. Yeah, boo-hoo. right. Like, or, uh, I couldn't save this person in no, this much time. But, but nobody dies. It's not like, like, like no one dies. he's not having any catastrophic failures. Um, yeah. but he he I'm gets right, yeah. he's just that. This is very odd. <laughs> it's it's a it's a trope. It's a trope like that. And, and so like um, anyway, you know, it's like one of those. Uh, it's one of those basic you know Japanese shows where like the girl has the big. And like they're bust. shoving him in his face, and like yeah, he, yeah, yeah, and right, he's like, just yeah, not interested because like, yeah, right. he's too busy, busy yeah. about. So like he's worried about this one girl he from that he falls in love with from the first episode, but like when he gets his chance with that girl, like five times he gets his chance to talk to that girl, and he like runs away from her crying like a little pansy. I don't know, like okay. it's it's very weird. Like that part it's, of the um, show is very weird. It's okay, and I'll I'll take it from here since it's the trope of she at the very beginning of the show he's like. The way it works is there's a, so they a go dungeon. To this, they that, go to this. They go has, to this building. They call it the dungeon, mm-hmm. where it goes. manifests beasts or animals, whatever monsters, and it keeps going down them. and down and down like sub levels. So the further down you go, the stronger the the beast yeah, gets. Gotcha. So like when you're a lower level, he's called he's what's called an uh, adventurer. He's an adventurer. Yeah, a novice, a soldier, whatever you want to call him. Mm-hmm. So the more it's kind of like a it's actually like a video game. The more yeah. you defeat monsters, the more powerful you get. Yeah. You rank yeah. up, it's, it's, and your powers are based on like if you're really good at like sneak attacking people, then you get faster and right. You know, and have more stealth. stealth, more stealth. Yeah. So, so it's just like that. Yeah. So like he, for some reason in the first episode he ends up, or no, something happens and stronger monsters from the lower levels get up to the higher levels. Right. And so, like, this one really extremely high-level adventurer saves him, and he falls in love with her at after, first sight. after she saves him. And, like, the whole season is him chasing her. Like, he's trying to get as powerful as her. He's trying to get in the same rank as her. Is this the one he won't talk to? Yes. Yes. Okay. Because he won't talk to her because he doesn't feel like he deserves to because he's not powerful. So, like, yeah. he's trying to rank up to her level to get, you know, to be able to, what well, he says, stand by her side or whatever. Yeah, because he doesn't want to be, like, and uh, he doesn't want to have to be protected by her it's that whole chivalrous chivalry Chivalry. yeah chivalrous chivalrous yeah chivalrous (laughs) Chivalrous. Chivalrous. the night code (laughs) anyways he's trying to catch her the whole time um that's not definitely chivalry but anyway (laughs) he's trying to catch her the whole well the chivalry thing comes in because it like I understand. Yeah, I mean, he won't. He won't. He doesn't. He doesn't. He like. He doesn't talk bad about any of them. Yeah, he always thinks he has to save the woman in distress. He yeah. always he like. There's um, a few episodes where he always feels like he has to save the woman in distress, no matter how bad of a person they are. Like the one girl steals from him all the time, and he still saves her. Wow, that's literally mm-hmm. not chivalrous at all. Oh, yeah. Well, no, it's, not at it's all. Naive. It's, it's, it's <laughs> naive. Yeah, right. It's naive. Yeah, right. You no, know, the the chivalrous knight mm-hmm. will no. point out that you're stealing. Well, yeah, her. right. We, I, yeah, yeah, but. Anyways, it's just his mindset, and it's, it's mindset. very weird. That's the only um, weird part about the show. Other than that, it's a, it's actually a pretty good show. Um, the some of the gimmicks I like because there's a lot of tropes. Um, Loki is in there as one of the gods because all the gods Loki's descend- a woman in this one. Yes, yeah. all the gods descended from the heavenly the plane because they want to live to be with alongside humans. For some reason, they want to live with humans. And then when they die as humans in their human form, they go back to the heavens, and then they stay there. They can't come back. They just. So they started their own like clans. Wow, that makes no sense. I know, I know. <laughs> so they started their own clans, and the main love interest for Bell, which is the main character, the girl who saved him, is part of the Loki clan. The, the Sword Princess. They call her Sword Princess because she's like, her uh, it's something long and it's ice. something. Re- her short, it's short is ice. You've told me this before. Yes, it's 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 really good. It's um. 
It's actually not a bad show, other than what I said, him yeah. crying. Um, but the the whole the whole weird thing, and it's a through line through all the seasons, is Loki is into Ainz, like she's like attracted to her, and the whole the whole through line is she keeps trying to push herself onto Ainz, and Ainz just keeps like, no, get oh, away, yeah, 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 back off, lady. Yep. yep, I work for you. Like I'll call HR. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah so it, that, that's. that's it happens a few times, times in the first season, yeah. It's really funny. It's really out of nowhere. Um, but season two, I think you'll like way more than season one. It's a little more faster paced. With a Do you learn more about his grandfather? Bits and pieces, yes. Because at the end of the first season. They, they revealed that his grandfather That the was god Zeus. knows his grandfather. Yeah, Zeus. Yeah, right. Zeus. He's like Zeus. Right. And, you know. Yeah. They, they go more into it. And then season's three and four kind of back off from it, but it's more development for bell himself. Right. And it's, it's really good. I remember seeing part of Kyle and the, my favorite part about it is how they take the names of the gods and then go somewhere totally the other way with it. Yeah. Like they don't look anything like a classical version. Oh well, no, no um, at all. No. Well, they're all mainly all women. That's mainly. All, all, yeah, that's mainly. I think there's only I, one, two, Two two male gods. Yeah, the so far. the one Indian god who he's just always like he's got one of the biggest clans, but he never does anything. anything he just sits there and talks about how great he is, but he <laughs> never's done anything. Um, yeah, no, I mean I, I like the show. I'm, I'm sure I'll start. I'll, I'll keep watching it. But other than that, the only thing that irritates me is the things I've already brought up. Yeah. Um, like but I the said, fight scenes are all pretty good. Yeah. Um, season season the, two. The storyline's pretty good. Season two, I think you'll like a lot. I've actually sent you memes about that show with season two. Uh, the reverse card on the. Uh, Does he ever figure out, or is he just always oblivious? Um. It goes into like the hero trope where he never wants to cross that line, so he does figure it out, but he always tries to stay on that. Friendship line because he never wants to cross that line with any of them. So, so, forever. like he figures it out, but so he never forever a virgin. Pretty much, <laughs> that's kind of his whole shtick. <laughs> Copy that. Who's the whole shtick? Um, forever a virgin. The, the main characters. His whole thing is like he starts to figure out some of these women are just straight up attracted to him, but he never. I mean, acts upon listen, like if, if you need to watch the show because it's not like they're not subtle. It's <laughs> it's. It's straight up in his face. I, I kind of vaguely remember the ones with the breasts. Yes. yes. Yeah. They told me. I mean, and they just I like. Kind of remember yeah. that. I mean, they just like hop on him. In They're his like, face. Oh, like, it's like right Belle. there. It's right there. Like, let me pick up. At this one pen. point, at one point, two of them even say it straight to his face, face. and he just stares. And he like, just like, Ugh. like this oblivious look on his face. Yeah. It's 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 weird. It's it's but it's a good show. Do you know how we got annoyed with Batman with Zoe Kravitz and how it was so obvious and he yeah. just looked dumb? It's the same <laughs> thing. It's the same thing in cartoon form. It's, it's that's how bad it is. Yes. But instead of one woman, it's like five. Yeah, and there's more going to be added. <laughs> and apparently, then there's again, more going to the be Batman added. Movie, I didn't even understand why she was attracted to him. I didn't get it. Yeah, he what didn't, did he he didn't any do anything. <laughs> He right. stood there yeah. like a statue, and somehow she got <laughs> and called himself vengeance. <laughs> really? Vengeance, <laughs> vengeance, vengeance. I guess we're always going to go back to that eventually. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's that seems to be a through line with this show. Yeah. Is we always go back to certain things. Like I went back to Resident Evil, Lady Demetresque, like three times in the gaming episodes for no reason. Uh, I mean, it's a good show. I like it. Uh, it keeps me more interested than uh, Soul Eater. Just because, like I told you before, Soul Eater just seems like it's repeating the same story over yeah. and over again. And that's fair. And the main guy does the same mistake every single time. Yeah, exactly. He just somehow gets more powerful because he gets lucky and wins. That's it. Yeah. I've seen a few episodes with you. Yeah, that's kind of how it and goes. And the only parts I liked were all the like, things they went off base, like Excalibur. Excalibur's <laughs> not even that good. It's just different. Fair enough. It's so, annoying. well, I'm Excalibur not, is annoying. I'm not saying he isn't. <laughs> to me, I he hate. Wasn't. To me, I hate, it wasn't annoying because I, I thought hate, it was funny because it's way different than the I other hate one. every Excalibur episode. <laughs> yeah. I just like his song. It's so stupid. Excalibur. 
Excalibur from the United K. I'm making my way to California. And like every time, in, he, in a world that they're not even like, right but like, I'm close. But like every time he tells a story, it's different. Yeah, it's always every, slightly every different. time he tells a story, it's totally different. My legend goes back five thousand years. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like my my legend goes back to the 17th is century. Is set in Japan? We don't know. They don't know because they do go to they do because they do go they do go to the Czech Republic. They do go to Russia. Then they end up in the Sahari Desert. Sahari, Sahara, so, whatever. <laughs> nerds, <laughs> map nerds. <laughs> um, so they they kind of go all over. Like they they make like a lot of these countries, but they never specifically say. Where Death City is actually, I located. assume it's in another dimension. They can just teleport places, or something. <laughs> right? Because um, the one that takes place in France, the one episode takes place in France, um, the one episode takes place in America. I would just assume it's somewhere in the Albuquerque. I hope <laughs> just some Europe. island in the middle of nowhere in Europe somewhere. I would yeah, imagine. probably. Who knows? So there's all that. Um, An island in the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery solved. <laughs> so I started the rest of Ultraman season two. Uh-huh. Uh it is such oh, this is the Japanese show, right? Yes. Got you. It is Got you. <laughs> it is such a gem. What else does he watch? Right? So the Lots of stuff. Regrown to Melrose Place. <laughs> <laughs> All the time. My secret my secret thing is <laughs> So, the original Ultraman, and I think we talked about it too, Greg, and I showed you some of the old things where it was like a rehash of like Godzilla, but really poorly acted. I know I showed it to you. Where it's they it's like a cross between like early Gundam Wing with yeah. outfits, and then and then like giant robot. I mean, gi- giant yeah, fights yeah, in like giant. Godzilla movies where the monsters like. Aah! I mean, I've never watched the show, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So that was the old show, and the whole premise was like aliens were coming to Earth. And the whole point of Ultraman was to defend Earth from the aliens by using the alien tech. So then we had a 90s rendition of it where it was they would transport themselves in the Internet and fight in giant monster forms. Well, the favorite part about the clip you showed me was the guy who uh, did a judo throw and a guy in a plastic suit. Suit, Yeah. And that's that was pretty good. and it was crazy. And I love it. So. They released season two on Netflix. Like they redid season. They they redid a whole reboot of it, like they do with Netflix. And the first season was very much trying to establish everything and be really serious and dramatic with everything. And it was fine. It was okay. It was standard Netflix series things where they leave a lot of loopholes because they're just trying to hurry up and get through the story because they're not sure if they're going to get a second season. Uh-huh. Well, we got season two of Ultraman. And they were like, all right, let's dial the dramatics back about five notches. And then they decided to break the turn on the hokiness because they dial the hokey over the top, stupid lines, posing like the Power Rangers stuff It is so cheesy. And I love every minute of it because of how cheesy it is. Like, the story's still, like, the standard superhero alien thing, whatever. And I just love they brought back the cheesiness of it. And it's making it really entertaining because it's one of those shows that's bad on purpose and it's entertaining for that. So the first season was, like, what, a telenovela? Yeah, almost. Cause the, not okay. that, maybe not that. So today, season one takes place in after all the original Ultraman shows. Like all the, I'm just talking about the, you said melodramatic. Yeah, it was super melodramatic, and that's what I'm like. The, the, like how they set up the premise was, everything that happened in the old shows happened, and then the guy who was Ultraman is old and retired. He can't be Ultraman anymore, but his son inherited the powers, and his son takes over. <laughs> how? <laughs> What's? <laughs> Wait, was you have something? <laughs> No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Scrolling. <laughs> oh, just the tattoo one. Yeah, Brad. Brad Pitt. <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
That's terrible. That's terrible. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a mile away from my mic. It's not picking me up very well. Let's try that. Oh, that's a little high. Oh, some reverb on that. Yeah, there was. Let's try this. So, oh my gosh, I can hear you from here. Yeah, I know. I'm trying to mess with the dials, and it's either not picking me up at all, or I'm eating the mic. Well, it sounds like you're eating the mic. I know. Right now, right I can now. hear it from here. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I'm working on it. I'm trying. Don't yell at me. <laughs> Let's let's testing testing. There we that go. Much better, better. Much better. Much better. Much better. So, um, season one is he becomes Ultraman, but now instead of everyone turning giant for no reason, it's just more like a crime show where he's solving alien crimes and arresting them or destroying them. It, it's really it's really off base. So it's a police procedural with a guy with a silver face. Yes, <laughs> pretty much. Uh, you need to, you need that's to also, do something. That's, uh, that's that's also these crappy things. Let's see if that's better. I might be reverberating back into she my headphones. She said headphone. Dan's the only one that's quiet. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. That's what she uh, said. I'll turn him up. That should that should do it. I don't know. So um, I don't know. Well, I, I we got, I got it, lost. <laughs> it's always his mic. Um. Oh, we're so, talking about your your dad. You're okay, we're talking the about the Ultraman show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the whole one was just setting up weird premise of trying to make it really melodramatic. Well, number the season two just went all right. This didn't work, so we're just going to dial it back to the alien police thing and make it hokey as par- possible, what like Power they, Rangers. What did they automatically get a second season? Is that why? I don't know. Because if if it worked for the first season, then that got my second season. Why? I don't know. They changed, but it was a hard transition. So. I, I appreciate it because I like the hokiness. Oh, we know you like your yeah. hokey crap. Yeah, you don't like you don't. Have, there's no grown men judo throwing other grown men. Yes, in there is. Suits. Yes, yes, there is. Yeah, they're using jiu jitsu. Yeah, jiu jitsu. <laughs> yeah, jiu jitsu. Jiu jitsu. There's not a sofa that eats people. No. <laughs> Was there a sofa that eats people in the first one? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> The Velocipastor's not in it? No, no. <laughs> um, is that but, uh, a Netflix movie or is that... Yes, a, it's, yeah, a, it's, yeah, it's a Netflix movie. It was Velocipastor. On it, was, it was on Prime. I, I, that, I literally that? made it to like 10 minutes and I I, I couldn't take it no more. I got up... So I, is I, it, I, is I it when he somehow like, ended up in Japan? You know how like in like... <laughs> you know how like in cartoons they throw their hands up and they walk... I literally threw Done. my hands up. I was like, I can't. I can't take this no more. <laughs> he was in... Do you know those... <laughs> Do you know those, those T Rex blow up fucking freaking? Um, you know those blow up T Rex suits? Got yes, I got you. It literally looks like he's in a blow up T Rex suit <laughs> eating people. So, was the pastor <laughs> turned into a velociraptor? Yes. Or um, yeah, velocipastor. Or, or is a human face? Wasn't it like he was like a bad guy? Like he was like a no. He, he was, was a, a, he was a he was a pastor. Are you I thinking know. of my fa- the father's stew? That's not coming out. I thought. I thought <laughs> father's stew. No, he's, no, no. That one has he's, Mark Wahlberg in it, where he's going to be. Yeah, father's stew. Yeah, he becomes, he's an ex-con that com- becomes a pastor. Yeah. Well, a priest, whatever. Uh, like, I, whatever. I thought. Yeah, I thought, right, I thought it was he became he, like. No, there was something in the church. Like he found an amulet or something, right? An amulet. No, no. Remember, he went to Japan. Yeah, right. He right. went to Japan and. Oh got, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. By like, yeah, yep. Somebody who was also like a. And they were saying he was in Japan, but it looked like the forest of Pennsylvania. Like, we walked, like, five it's miles been, up the hill. It's not like he went over to South Side and walked up in the woods a little bit. And then shot, like, an indie movie right there. Because they were, like, in the fields of Japan. And he's like, wow, look at all these cherry trees and yeah. lotus fields. Uh-huh. And it's just and it's, Pennsylvania. It's just trees. <laughs> it's just trees. But, yeah, it literally looks like he goes over to South Side. And it's not like not like he went in the wo- deep wilderness. It's like literally like he walked into the woods from his house a little bit. You heard traffic behind <laughs> <him> or something. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but like he turns into like a velociraptor. What is it? It's like midnight or something, right? He turns, it's like kind of like a werewolf thing. <laughs> and like it yeah. literally looks like he's in a blow up T Rex suit and he's trying to. Eat. I I like I couldn't I couldn't do it. 
I stood up. It was, I said, I'm so done. It was pretty much immediate. I right? said, I, movie I, into it? <laughs> yeah, like, I said, the yeah, it's like 10 minutes in. Yeah, it's really bad. I like, I, I literally stand up and I say, I'm done. I, I can't take this no more. And I walk out in the kitchen. You, you know, it's pretty bad when it's on your own TV, you walk out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, it was a, his. It was on his TV. I was watching either, it with him. Either way, I, like, you walk out. Listen, that's I literally walk out of the theater moment. I literally walked the, out and watched Cheetah cook <laughs> <laughs> instead of watching Velocipaster. Yeah, such integrity for the show, Greg. So, was this one of your big projects for this episode? No, no, no it was just a random. It was movie just a random movie that he wanted. Um. <laughs> But you won't watch French language crime dramas with no, Kyle. No, no, I won't. French language. Yeah, on Netflix they had some French stuff, and I it was about it was about a serial killer who who a, a cop who wants to find another serial killer, so he goes with his mom, who's a serial killer. <laughs> okay, it's weird. We're, we're yeah. full of serial killers here. Yeah, right. It sounds like me and she just. Yeah, that sounds show. like a show you guys would watch. Um, but it's in French, so he refuses to read. So you know how it is. Readings for nerds. <laughs> Um. So you're telling me you won't watch stuff, but you're trying to make me watch stuff. Exactly. Watch. That's the hypocrisy that I <laughs> live by. <Okay>. So <laughs> uh, we were talking about Legion. I don't. Remember. Do you remember watching that movie? The movie. Legion? I, I love. Yeah, I love with, the, with the angels. Yeah, the angels. Yes, I like. I love that. <laughs> we were movie. talking about how bad that movie was. I loved it though. I liked it. It was bad. Oh, no, I didn't say it wasn't good. bad. It's not like Velocipat. No, yeah, bad. it's not Velocipat. Um, he's he's comp- saying Legion's bad compared to Velocipaster. <laughs> that is like Iron God, Man. Like a <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so like what, were we, what were we talking about? That was Legion and something else. We were comparing the two. I forget. Oh, priest, priest. Because Paul Bettany. What's priest? Paul Bettany. Um, priest is. You've like, never seen the any of the Avengers movies, right? No. Okay. It's the guy who plays Vision. Oh, okay. Oh, um, okay. so priest is in a post-apocalyptic world where post-apocalyptic world where um vampires. <laughs> Where they have a dictatorship. <laughs> dictatorship. <laughs> dictatorship. <laughs> so now I can think of a uh, ship made of potatoes <laughs> on some ranch dip. <laughs> <laughs> Chips. <laughs> okay. All right. Go ahead. Finish the story. So um, they they have a vampire problem, like post lock. Post apocalyptic. <laughs> what you want me vamp- to say? Yes, go ahead. Explain, Dan, because I can't talk. Please, eh. please explain this. Basically, it's a post apocalyptic world where priests, they're this guys who run around killing vampires, and okay. they're just, like superpowers. Yeah, and they, have, they all have different superpowers. Well, it's mostly you know the traditional ones where like, they can use their holy symbols. Oh, okay, okay, and, okay. And, and like they're super strong and, and super yeah. fast, right. well trained ninjas. They're also ninjas too. It's kind of like Van Helsing except with superpowers. Copy. Yeah. It's not exactly the most. Uh, inspired choice in the world but you know it's yeah. alright and the main villain is like an ex-priest played by Carl Urban he played in Dread and um uh, a bunch of stuff uh, I, know, I know what Dread is I don't, um, the new Dread the, movie yeah, the what's movie. the what's his name Aramir from uh, Lord of the Rings you know the horse guy oh yep anyway he plays the he plays the main villain and he's going around what well, it it is the storyline trying to save some girl or um or something for priest um i forget the storyline after the mission where he lost some of the priests when they all died and the one got turned into a vampire he didn't know about yeah um yeah, he they, went they, they, he went into exile cuz he was like dishonored guy yeah. and he apparently had a daughter and she got put into danger so he comes out of retirement to save her oh yeah i forgot in the beginning of the movie they fight a bike a whole horde of vampires and like one gets turned or whatever. Yeah, and he's, he's like his best friend, of course. Yeah, right. his best friend, and he's like, "You left me there to die, but and now always, I'm a vampire." It turns out that way, right? And he's a cowboy now. He went from a priest to a, to cow- a vampire okay. cowboy. Okay. A vampire cowboy likes burning down villages and stuff, and has a cross still on his face. <laughs> well, uh, it's funny. You so it's up, basically you, you guys brought up Legion. I had me thinking. My favorite part about that whole movie is the old lady. Oh, in the beginning when she goes crazy yeah, and starts yeah, crawling across yeah, the wall like a fly. Yeah. <laughs> Um, All the little babies are going to die. <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite part is the ending. 
After it's, they, like, it's like the difference between the horror concept <laughs> and, the, and the way she's talking. Yeah, yeah right. it's so out of nowhere. That move was so weird. <laughs> All the little babies are going to die. And she starts crawling up the walls <laughs> with the teeth. Um, I like what's the, the end. What's the uh, when? Because um, isn't he Michael? Yeah, Gabriel's the one uh, that's played uh, by the Blob. Michael's the the angel that that rebels, right? And <laughs> he gives uh, the main hero guy his tattoos that are supposed to protect yeah, him. That yep, didn't yep. do nothing. And nothing. He got beat up immediately. Right. <laughs> like he's like, these will protect you. They'll help you. And then he just gets beat down like a dog. Um, but at the end, Michael comes back out of nowhere, and he's like, "Ha ha!" He's like, "Well, I didn't you? die." Well, no, he killed him. Remember, he killed him, and then he went to heaven, and then he got judged and got brought back because, um, the way he said it is, he's like, "How did you get back? back? How are you back to be an angel?" He's well, he like, said because I he said I, I gave, gave God I gave what God he, what he needed, needed not, not what he wanted. wanted. Yeah, right. And then he dishonored Gabriel because uh, Gabriel was just being a soldier, uh, right? And doing as he's told, whether he agreed with it or not, he right. just did as he's told, right? Like so, it's like a ham-fisted comparison of the Old Testament and New Testament. Kind yeah, of thing? yeah. Okay. <laughs> it, it was a weird movie. It was really weird. They tried to put philosophy into it. Yeah, except with the the old lady on the wall. <laughs> Listen, all the babies gonna die. This, this, <laughs> all little babies gonna die. Listen, this is my favorite part of the movie. I understand why. I'm, I, I like the ice cream man. The ice cream man when he got the giant oh, jar. Yeah, like, yeah, Rawr. that's a pretty good one too. It was we're, we're, so were angels were possessing people. Yes, yeah, yeah. they were just possessing so people. What happened trying to kill this? I kind of watched baby. Like half of so it. What happens so happens is this 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 girl's pregnant, and the baby's not supposed to be born, and so. Isn't the the baby- angels are supposed to come down. Let's For some reason, the baby's still in term. It's going to be born, and, and it's, it's not like supposed to be. Yeah, right. It's not supposed stuff. to be born. Mm-hmm. So the angels start possessing people, which is the, the old lady comes in. She's the first one to, to be possessed, and um, Michael comes down <laughs> and she kills can't. the old. I mean, just blows her away. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, totally not what you'd expect from an angel. And uh, um, so, like, he's, like, telling him the story, like, your baby's not supposed to be born. God's sending all the angels it's down to kill him. Uh, kill, yeah, right. Kill so, like, the it's, baby before it's, it's like, born because it's supposed it's, to be the savior of humanity to give humanity a second it's chance. It's this little hobunk town in the middle of nowhere in, like, Kansas. And it's this little... Diner. Diner. Gas station diner. In the middle of nowhere with like four employees. <laughs> and, and, you know, they there's, gotta, they there's have the old ward black off, guy with the heart of gold. They have to ward off like the whole country <laughs> of that's angels. possessed by angels. <laughs> so how do these angels get there? They teleport? They drive? Oh. They drove. They drove. Yeah, they drive. got in yeah, cars like and drove. Yeah, they all get, like, but, but Gabriel cars. just shows up. <laughs> yeah. They like park their cars and RVs in front of the... The gas station, and, and it's they like start, a standoff they, they, they movie swirl. where there's only so many cars yeah. you can get. In. <laughs> yeah, right. Like, well, so it's in the middle of the desert, and nothing's around it. No, so they're like driving though. over the dunes. You know, at a certain point, you're going to have to park and walk, like or run, like a whole way. I'm like, hey, what's, that's not going to work. Oh, well, I mean, they're angels. I'm sure they can use they can do whatever some kind want. of power to really? get Because all the little babies going to die. All the little babies going to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that movie was a gem. Plus, that the angel that possessed her must have been disappointed with her voice, though. Uh, like, order she orders like a raw steak, like raw, raw like raw, not not cooked, like raw. And starts chewing on it, and nah, nah. she's like eating it, and the lady's like looking at her, like grossed out. And she's like, "How's your baby? All the baby's going down." <laughs> oh, such a great movie. I haven't, seen, I, have, I haven't seen. I have. The, I have the DVD. I have it on Netflix. All right, we can watch. You got to watch it. And Priest, you're gonna have to come over and watch. Oh my gosh, really? You're gonna have yes. to come over and watch Legion. Priest is a, better than Legion, I think, except for the all the babies gonna die. <laughs> all the babies gonna, gonna die. die. <laughs> so all the little babies gonna die. We have little under two minutes left. So I posted a video about the Alpha Nerd Sub Drive, which is our Drive to get 100 subscribers. Uh, I post up the video right before the show. So hopefully it'll get out there. People will see it. Um, like, comment, and subscribe on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter to get yourself a chance to be drawn for one of the giveaways. Um, we're going to call that a show tonight. 
Um, hopefully, hopefully we'll have Doctor Strange and some other things to talk about when uh, we come back. Uh, have a good night.